Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, I had noticed the reason why my weight was so high, um, is I'm an idiot. Uh, was holding on to a bunch of those goggle helmets and trooper helmets, not realizing they weigh a fuck ton, uh, when you combine them all together individually. But if you start to repair them and slowly whittle the weight down... I dealt with a pretty good chunk of the weight issue. <laughs> I mainly just combined them with the uh, stuff that weighed very little or nothing at all, like the sunglasses and whatnot. But uh, it, it worked. <laughs> so hey, I win. <laughs> a little bit. Alright, uh, that also said, I swapped to this because we're going to be in close quarters in here. And we're gonna need some more versatility. Also, I uh, made some ammo with uh, with Eddie over there, so that's why the uh, ammo count for this gun is a little bit higher than where it was last time. All right, there are gonna be a couple of them around here. See, see what I mean? There's one right down there. Okay, gotta be careful. Make sure they're in your line of sight when you shoot. Like right now. There we go. Whew. That was close. And I didn't alert anything else either. That was nice. That's very nice. I like it when I'm able to do that. It's very useful when I don't have everyone else coming down on me <laughs> so I can continue to do more damage I guess is a phrase I'm looking for I'm half asleep <laughs> I've not had enough coffee yet I have had a decent amount um, pack cigarettes I'll just I'll just take those for now there we go hopefully I don't alert anything to my presence with the light on I'm hoping anyway uh, my throat <clears throat> it's not one to cooperate, I'll tell you that much. Um, there we go. Nothing special over there, anyway. Anything over here? Ooh, good thing I checked. A wall safe. Hello. Thank you. You're mine now. All of this good shit. Thank you. Uh, I'll probably break that down now that I think about it. Um, whoa. Do you have a lot of my stuff? <laughs> I just realized. Uh, I went to the wrong option, too. I meant to go to Amro. Can we make some Amro? Thank you. Um, let's not make that. Did I only shoot off two rounds? I know I shot off at least two. So I guess I got all the cases from that. Hey! Cool shit. Alright, and, uh... Let's... Get that... Yeah, that. Break that down. Perfect! Yeah, I'm pretty sure I only shot two. Oh boy. I should turn off the light to maintain sneakiness. Okay, so it's up on the other level if I'm not seeing it already. Alright then. Here's hoping I don't alert it to my presence, and it only seems to be the one. You know, that seems to be the only other one within reach. Hmm. Well, within reach of my senses, anyway. Um, oh, those are the exact same condition level. Who'd have thunk? Not me, that's for damn sure. Okay, time to be a sneaky McSneakerton. Okay, I should probably pay attention in the direction it is at. Okay, I failed a lot there. Oh, geez. Okay. Okay. That was the wrong button. I keep doing that when I want to do vats every time. Ah, a lot of shooting to the face. There we go. I am gritting my teeth because I am angry. Trying to shoot. Oh, geez, there's another one. How the hell is there another one? Okay. Oh, no. I accidentally hit Eddie. I accidentally hit Eddie. That's not good. Okay. Well, at least he decided to just sit there and not do any fucking fighting. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry, Eddie. You were right in the way. 
you decided to get right in the way. That's your own... Duh. That's not your fault, but at the same time, it kind of is. Oh, uh, this guy's been moving around. Sorry for disturbing your body, sir. Or ma'am. Not quite sure. I uh, can't really look at the hips. Uh, sir, I apologize. Okay. There we go. Alright. <laughs> I think I don't need to sneak anymore, but I'm doing it just in case. Just in case. Because it's better if I do it than if I don't do it and then have shit hit the fan. There we go. Some good stuff. Not entirely great, but not bad. Uh, a lot of pre-war books. A lot of pre-war books that weren't destroyed, I've noticed. Which is good. A lot of uh, good history in those books. Wow. That does not look kosher. Um, yeah, let's go over here. Ooh, some good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. What was that accent? I have no idea. Um, let's head upwards. Eh? What in the fuck was that noise? The dicks was that? Sounds like gas. Sounds like a gas leak. Or something. Take that. All I know is I don't want to hear it anymore. I want to go outside. Into the divide, where even more shit's gonna be awaiting me. There we go, Over I fixed my coffee problem. High road, Ashton, tiny cracks in the earth, nothing compared to the road carved ahead. Oh, really? Before you, this is the edge of the divide. Ahead lies your work. The history you burned in the earth. What you brought to the people here. Are you are you sure that was me? What happened here? You delivered a package. Had markings that matched those in the divide. Not all. But enough. Enough? Military markings. From some place the bear had savaged in the west. Hmm. Maybe seeing those markings on it reminded you of home. Made you carry it. Are you sure that's Are you sure that was that was what I was thinking because I'm pretty sure that's not what I was thinking. If anything it was probably just a package to me if anything. Uh I don't recall it. It was from the west, from deep in NCR, whether made by them or not. It came here through your hands. It probably wasn't made by it them. It was a device. A detonator. One I'd never seen before. Or heard before. I see. You carried that thing to the divide. I know because I followed you as you walked the road. Watched you do it. So you were stalking me? You brought it here. To the community you built. And you are responsible for what happened after. When the device opened, started to speak. I see. When it did... The Divide answered back. Those missiles you've seen, buried in their silos. Then some of them didn't blow. beneath the ground, cracked oh. the landscape. Sand, ash, the dead. The Divide skies became a graveyard. Yeah, I bet. Shit. If you saw this happen, how did you survive? Should have died there. But now that I know you live, the machines here saved me. I was the only survivor, or thought I was. So you used an auto package, the message inside, awoke medical machines, close to the one that shadows you, began to build themselves, then others. They only take what parts they find in the divide, never roam beyond it. Can't even leave the silos without a human to shadow. Like hounds. Maybe they saw the flag on my jacket. Thought I was of America. If so, history saved me. A sign. Fair enough. The package, you said it had markings. What was it? Machinery. Simple on the outside. Computer parts. Inside. 
mm -hmm. more complicated. That's usually the how it goes. The only time I heard machines speak in the divide. The only machine with a voice. So it actually had a voice. There's no way I could have known. Yeah, I'm not responsible for this. There's no way I could have known. If you had been there when it happened, if you had seen the divide break, you would know it. You carry death wherever you go. If the monarchy doesn't know it yet, it will. What Got happened here can happen again. You already proved it. What you did in Ashton, the silo there. Hey, hey, hey. I had no idea the silo was active until the missile was in the air. Didn't stop you, though. Like carrying the chip to Vegas. Old world death in your hand. Pieces of the old world like that just need someone careless enough to take them where they need to go to do their killing. That is not fair. That is not fair. How am I supposed to be educated enough, given the circumstances of, you know, being just a regular wastelander, and at, even at this point, I would say I'm not educated enough. What part of that would make you think I would have any responsibility towards it if I didn't know that's what could happen? I'm not to blame for Ashton, the chip, or the divide. All these roads you walked, these packages that you carried, think it wasn't your choice? Of course. It was your choice. You could have stayed in the Mojave. But you chose to come. Couldn't let be. Not in you to let go. Came for no other reason than you were curious. Restless. Always have been. Had to know the why of it. Now I'll show you. You've got a point. If anything, I could justify that I've been curious, and that's why I've done 95% of what I've done in this game. <sighs> the, the why of it. You're the one who needs to answer that. Why are you doing this? I want to hear the answer of it. Not just history's answer. Your answer for what happened here. Because there's two sides. Whatever happened here was an accident. Any anger you have, you have to let it go. Accident. Ignorance is a choice. The chip. A choice. As for anger, it is what I carry for the dead. And all that come here. You mean the Republic troops... No, no, that's NCR. The Divide Explosion. What, did I kill your family? Your wife? Children? My family. My tribe lives. Its history. Died long ago. Fell under the shadow of the bull. Consumed by another symbol. Because he's part of the Twisted Hairs. No. This isn't about family. Or any common blood. It's blood shared by acts. Not by chance. If you're Legion, are you angry because I destroyed the Divide supply line instead of you? The supply line? The artery for the West? I have seen the blood of NCR at Legion hands many times. I'm I sure. I carry no hatred for duty, if that's what this was. The Divide was more than that. It's people more than that. You seem to be putting a lot of weight behind the divide and what its people and its existence meant in regards to me. Let's say he, he is right. Let's say he is right. My, my acting as a courier did more or less allow this town to form, well, this area... To form and prosper because of my packages. I think that's a little uh, 
I think that's a little stretching it, but okay. And then I bring a package, not knowing what it is. At this point, I'm probably been just doing my job, not knowing what is in the package, just taking it where it needs to go, get paid, go back, like it's nothing. And that package leads to its destruction. Without my knowledge, I'm assuming I never knew the entire time. I only heard stories about it afterwards. How does that make it my fault? It doesn't. If I had known what was in those packages at any point, then I could see it. But it doesn't make it my fault when I have just been doing my job. I don't know. You think I'm responsible for this. My question is what your tie to this place is. The community that was once here and the package you brought both had markings of the divide. Markings of America. You've seen the marks, the symbol. You as the flag of Talbotville Silo, maybe. Carried it etched on your weapons. The divide, its buildings, its people, were built around those same markings, surrounded them here. Markings like the flag on my back when I followed a your road to the divide those years ago. I saw the symbol I wore all around me. An old world symbol, strong to survive here. Its people, strong. Outlast the bear, outlast the bull. Promise of something better. Kaiser was right to want it dead. NCR was right to want to rake their claws in it. Seeing it changed me. Just as seeing Hoover Dam changed Kaiser and the NCR. Seeing it end changed me too. I see. So let's add this to what I've currently gotten so far. The Divide was the last real vestige of America left. The flags, the symbols of America were everywhere. And that frightened the NCR, and that frightened Kaiser. Because that's stronger than they are. They feared its power, so they wanted to either control it or destroy it. And I inadvertently brought just complete and utter destruction to the Divide. Now, he, seeing this entire little place, he started to question what was the point of the NCR and the Legion when something like this can thrive outside of it. And then when it was destroyed, I don't know. We haven't gotten that far with him yet seems when it was destroyed that kind of broke him a little bit as well if you cared about the divide then i'm sorry for what happened here there was hope here another chance a new nation stirring to life a place i could have set my flag not the america of old but something larger than the tribes of the east Something larger than the houses of the West. Something better. The Divide could have bridged both like Hoover Dam. Now, like the dam, it's too covered in blood to see what it could have been. You gave life to this place. I followed a your road here, saw the Divide. You led me here so that I could see. Then, you brought it to an end. Again, I had no idea what was in those packages. I could not have known if I was just doing my job. 
So this is revenge, then, for destroying the Divide. My history isn't revenge or hate. The road that brought us both here isn't about that. It's about the message you carried, the one in that package, whether you knew it or not. The message that one can kill a nation, can kill a symbol, and all that gather beneath its flag. I don't blame you for the divide. I blame you for what you made me see. Now you will see what you brought to the Mojave, and that will be my message to you. I don't understand. What message? The nations of the Mojave, cracked and broken as the Divide, its people, the same. I have walked at Kaiser's command across the east into the west, far enough to know Kaiser's word did not drive me, far enough to see the end. You've seen it. No courier. Whatever their flag can ignore it. Why you didn't stay in the West. Why you wondered. There's no future in the bear or bull. The bear is diseased, barely clings to life. And the bull, when the legion reaches the sea, it will turn on itself and die. Killing one will end both, and you made me see how one could do it. Your ignorance, carelessness, can be used with a purpose. I see. So, in me accidentally destroying the Divide, he believes now that a single person can do so much to a nation just in general it seems he's learned that they can kill it but I'm pretty sure that they can also make it better but he's learned the killing aspect. And that's what he's going to try and do. He knows that there's problems within both of these nations. And CR is trying too hard, and it's just... With the corruption that's just running rampant throughout the bureaucracy of the NCR, it's impossible for them to get anything done properly without some serious reforms done. The Legion is too militaristic. It doesn't know anything besides war. Once it becomes time for it to actually be at peace, it won't know what to do with itself. And, as he said, it will cannibalize itself just to continually feed the need for war. You learned the wrong message. Really? Who's to say the truth of it? You... No. You walked from this, turned your back on it. Now you and others will answer for it. I'll start with the West. Let that burn. Then, if the East falters after, I'll bring the Divide there as well. Burn away the flags. Begin again. That's Sierra Madre. What are you planning? You wanted me to come to the Divide. I'm here. Now what? Your roads are not done. Haven't walked it full yet. Not nearly enough. The way ahead and below leads to the heart of the Divide. And there, you and I, we'll have an ending to things. I'm not done talking to you yet. There's more I want to know. I already heard you once. 
long ago and loud enough for history to hear, tired of your messages. Still, curiosity drove you this far. Let's see what else it can do. You said you made a promise not to kill me. Why? Isar's orders. Sometime before, I realized the why of it. Wasn't just you. All couriers. No telling how many were legion. Maybe all of them. Wasn't sure about you until the divide. All the NCR burning. That much death. It bears the mark of a legion hand. But you killed like NCR. Like Hanlon. With mines, bombs, missiles. Killed Legion along with the bear. Like a coward kills from a distance. If you were Legion, then NCR beat you. The West changed you. I was never a Legion agent. I know that now. Doesn't change what was done. The Legion who died here. Even if you were a Legion, you would answer for those deaths by Kaiser's law. Fair enough. Huh. What's our history? How do you know me, other than this? I knew all of you. Your name. Your road to and from the Divide. What that meant for the Legion. We never spoke. Knew you through your actions. Knew you'd walked the West as I'd walked the East. Learned different lessons. As will happen. And I would never have discovered the Divide without you. Fair enough. I want to talk to you more about the recordings I found on the Divide from you. You scavenge words. Things I have no need of. No history there worth recounting. Scour the Divide. Claw at it for meaning. But my words will give you no answer. They've told me quite a bit. I've been collecting them. Listen to you talk about history enough. Maybe I'll understand. They won't help you understand what happened here. And they won't help you understand me. Keep them. Listen. Study them. They won't help you here in the Divide. I haven't listened to them all. If there's time, I will. Wait, in the logs, you mentioned a tribe called the Twisted Hares. Your tribe? Twisted Hares are dead. Lost at dry wells. Died in Wolpus's smile. Won't discuss their fate with you. Not now. Their past is mine to keep. Walk farther. See me face to face. You might earn more. Now let the words keep you without me adding to them. You wouldn't have recorded those messages if they didn't matter to you. Maybe not. Who's to say? You, perhaps, found them, heard them after I cast them aside. Maybe there was purpose in that. If they matter, if history matters, we'll see at the end of the road. As I said before, it's of no consequence. Never intended you to find them. Never intended you to hear them. Well, I am. Questions in those tapes I still haven't found answers to. You won't be the one to give them. Are you sure about that? I gave you answers to some other things. Maybe not intentionally. Definitely not intentionally. But still. Before I go any further, I deserve some answers. You've seen the Divide. Walked it. Farther than I thought you would. Not sure how much farther you have in you. Oh, I have plenty. If you need answers, speak. You've earned them. Even if only you and I can carry them from here. I want to know more about this package I delivered. You know what it was. Had symbols 
of America on it. New markings from after the Great War. Enclave? Thought it might be America come again. Promise of another future, another flag. But what was it? It was a piece of machinery, military, holding memories, codes maybe. When it woke, made these sounds, words. When it spoke, the divide became fire. The ground tore apart like the skies. Through it all, kept calling out, maybe calling for home. Where's the package now? Buried in the divide, part of it now. Wherever it is, it's been silent. If it spoke again, we'd know. Fair enough. What do you mean when it woke? Machine couldn't speak by itself. Needed a terminal to access it. Like the terminals in the silos here. Or the machine with you. When it was connected, it started speaking. And the divide answered. I see. So it was similar to the chip, maybe? Pretty close, probably. There's more I need to know. If I have the answers, you've earned them. Fair enough. Okay, I guess that's pretty much all there is. Uh, this canyon is miles long, maybe longer. Where can I find you? At the end of the divide, through the trenches and wreckage. That's where you'll find me. A new home, here, amongst dead men. You and that machine. Keep your eyes on the tower that cuts the horizon. You'll find your way. Made it this far. Not much farther to go. The tower that cuts through the horizon. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, this is going to be a thing. <laughs> I'll need to fight through them, but I need to end the episode because we are way the fuck over time. We were talking a lot with Ulysses. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the people we're playing talk about the game for playing together not the people well the people we're talking to as well that's a thing that we can talk about as well especially ulysses and i will see y'all in the next episode this has been the one the only stray cat playing games and getting a lot of plot <laughs> quite a bit of it and getting attacked by marked men right after the plot dump for you